In this video, I'm going to show you how to install all the mods for the GTA 5 Enhanced Edition, including scripts, car mods, trainers, and graphic mods. So make sure to leave a like on the video, because my name is Dr. GTA, and we're going to get into it right now. And of course, all the links will be in the description below to download the mods. Then you're going to go download the link in the description for these new script hook that just came out. Take these five files and drag them over into the root of your GTA 5 Enhanced, just as you would in the original Legacy version. There's nothing that really changes except for now we have a X input and we also have a args.txt, which this is for disabling battle eye. So you don't really need this, but you can use it. Preferably, I like to do opening my Rockstar launcher to disable battle eye, um, or you can just delete the GTA 5 enhanced underscore BEXE from your game. And then when you load the game, it'll retry over and over again. All right, so once you get into your Rockstar Games launch, you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna make sure that the battle eye is unchecked because that will help you obviously not have your modded game get messed up. And then from there, pretty much everything is set up. The other thing you can possibly do if you would like to do uh, this, you can also do a launch argument. So now if we load into the game, we should have a trainer working and a script hook. F4 is the key to open the trainer. In the legacy version, it's F4. And you can basically go in and give yourself all weapons. Boom, got all weapons. No reload, fire ammo. Explosive ammo, can I give myself a car? Yeah, I can. Now we're going to go ahead and install the open RPF. We don't need the D sound, just the RPF. So first things first, inside the directory, you're just going to have to do it without open 4. Make a mods folder. Then go into that. Make an update folder. So you need to basically get the update for the original update. Copy it. Put it in the mods folder. Update. Boom. So it goes mods folder, update, and then update RPF. Then what you're going to do, download the code walker, which will go to the dev version of that and get that really quickly. Go to code walkers discord, go to releases, right here, came out the 17th. Dev 48 for gen nine support. We're gonna extract the code walker that we just downloaded to our desktop. The RPF Explorer. More info and run it anyway. This is loaded. We're going to let it do its thing. It's going to load up for a second. It's going to uh, scan the directories and all that good shit. So this loaded up the original GTA 5, but we don't want to use the original legacy version. We want to use the enhanced. So what we're going to do is just open a folder and open a game. So we're going to go navigate to GTA 5 enhance folder right here. We're going to go into the mods, update, and select the folder. Once we're in there, we've got this RPF. Turn it edit mode on, hit yes, open it up. Ensure your GTA 5 enhanced compatible files are converted using Desi Dexifix Code Walker. Process it and to take the output files and replace them in CodeWalker in the update RPF. These encrypted files should all replace. Obviously, we need edit mode on. Boom! And obviously, it replaced them all. Put them over here. So, you're going to finish replacing all these files and then load up your game. It does look like it has Visual V installed. Definitely does look like it does. Oh yeah, that's Visual V. Look at those clouds. Yeah, that's Visual V for sure. Oh yeah, definitely Visual V is installed right now. Yep. So there you have it. You have to convert your, your uh, RPFs over. Definitely is working. And I do, dude, it looks fucking good. Looking under your ASI loader log. I'm going to open it with Noplad++. Uh, plus plus. So it looks like it loaded the ASI plugin, loaded the enhanced trainer. It also loaded the open RPF ASI. 
So it did load it. Sweet. So that means we have scripts now working. And we still have the RPF cache. And we have a script hook log here. It loaded native trainer. Great. This game looks crazy good, dude. Just this little visual V mod. Oh my god, it really sets off the bounce lighting a lot. It looks freaking great. So we know it works and it looks really, really fucking good. Although there is some bleed when you take off for some reason. I don't know why it's bleeding red. Off. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's a DLSS mod. So the DLSS mod is causing it to bleed. Um, I like it a lot. <laughs> you never seen that movie, never mind. This shit looks so crazy. It don't even have EMB or reshade. Oh, I gotta install the reshad, reshard. <laughs> Oh, I see some issues. The clouds. <clears throat> Alright, so upon further investigation, I decided to not use the trainer that comes with script hook because apparently it is causing cars to despawn and stuff like that. And there's glitches with it, but it is the most reliable trainer. So as of this update, 16.9 version of Simple Trainer V, it's released and it actually works in the Enhanced Edition, so we're going to install that. And if you haven't installed it or you've installed before, it's pretty much the same way as we did before on the Legacy version. You just drag and drop the ASI and the INI to the root of the game, and that's pretty much all you got to do. You can also use the Trainer config from your original Legacy version if you have a saved config that you have all this saved xml's on and it will still work with enhance which is interesting it will also not work on the legacy version the n key for next song is disabled so is the auto detection of add-on vehicles as well as um, they will need to be defined again in the ini to work and the tracks for the snow and the snow weather will not work on enhanced um, but you can use your existing ini from the legacy version to work in the enhanced version and as you can see, F3 is the key to bring up the simple trainer, if you didn't know that. And let's go ahead and let's change the time. Also change the model. And let's change the weather. Oh yeah. Looking good. I gave myself all weapons, so it actually gave me all weapons. It spawned it. So yeah, this is remotely new and it actually did spawn. Yeah. Looks pretty good. I love it. I like it.
Dude, this thing is so quick on its feet. It's so quick. It can swerve and, and keep stabilization amazingly. I love it. I really love I've never driven this car before. So I was like, this is pretty freaking cool to drive this thing. God, it just, it knows how to... Ooh. So now we're gonna install a car mod and it's pretty much the same way as you would install it on the Legacy, except for there's very few car mods that are actually designed and adapted for uh, enhanced. So you can't install just any car mod right now, at least until Oleg updates Z mod. So what we're gonna do first to, if you're the Steam version of this, you're gonna go to your Steam version of your game, right click it, and you're gonna go into the properties and make sure that the general tab has the launch option, skip patcher check in there, and then you can close that out. Once you've done that, we're gonna to navigate to your GTA 5 enhanced folder again, because whatever the, the download of the mod says to do, you can't do add-ons as of now, but we're gonna do a replace. And they said to replace the patch day 10, so we're gonna to go to the irregular patch day 10 folder for patch day 10 NG, which is going to be, I think it's this one. And we're gonna copy that. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that, guess what? Putting that X64 DLC packs update. Same as it was, update X64 DLC packs. And then boom. Mods update X64 DLC packs. And if we now we've got the actual folder with the DLC we need to modify, but um, we can't apparently do modifications of these with Open 4 right now, and I haven't tried it. The first car mod, here we go. It's under Coops. Oh, it's under Compacts. Dinka Blista. And it did it! Wow. So here you go, guys. The first car mod. In GTA 5 Enhanced is a Peugeot. Spadge, my friend from France, would be an ungarçon. Spadge, est un salaud. <laughs> Car mod, and it's installed running in my game. Not sure how we did it, but cool. We'll see how it works in the next one. All right, well, there you go. You now have your trainer, your graphic mod, and your scripts working. I don't think there's much more you could want right now. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it and this helped you. And I will be updating the tutorials for new tutorials for the enhanced version. So make sure to stay subscribed for those videos. My name is Dr. GTA and I'll see you later. Bye bye.